Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Kayla Lachey, and today we are talking about fragrances, aka my most complimented fragrances of the year. I think it'd be fun just to kind of talk about the scents that I like to gravitate towards, the notes of them, and why they're so amazing, but I do need to give a disclaimer. Um, I am not the type of fragrance girly that likes very fresh, fruity, floral scents, so if that is you, maybe not the best fragrance recommendations for you. I am more on like the sweet side, the warm, the cozy, masculine sometimes type of scents. So if you like those type of scents, the woody scents, then take notes baby take notes i love louis vuitton fragrances this is my second scent from them this one is the atrape reeves lo francais i don't really know if that's how you pronounce it but we're gonna roll with it so packaging wise they're definitely gonna get a 10 out of 10 for me you could also take the empty bottle to louis vuitton and they will refill it for you so that's the type of luxury that we need in our lives. We have the LV embossed on the magnetic cap. And their fragrances are very potent. If you've never had a Louis Vuitton scent, they are made with oils. So it is more of like a strong scent. And as much as I love Louis Vuitton, I only like a few of their fragrances because they are low-key overwhelming. I'm talking like two sprays of this and you are good until tomorrow because they are so intense. So this one is a very, it's kind of fruity, which is surprising for me personally, but it has a very sweet like cocoa undertone to it. So it is like a warm, sweet floral type of fragrance and I believe this is Louis Vuitton's most popular scent from what I remember the essay telling me when I was there. So this one has keynotes of cocoa, peony, as well as patchouli, Turkish rose, bergamot, which I love, and ginger. So when you're looking at the notes list, you're kind of like, well, what the heck does that even smell like? It smells like something I've never smelled before. It doesn't smell like too many of the scents that I've ever had in my life. I will say if you're looking for an affordable dupe, not that they're the same, but they're kind of similar. This one from Ariana Grande, Sweet Like Candy. I've gotten a ton of compliments on both of these. This one is a lot more sweet in comparison but like i'm saying the notes are very very similar so i will read you guys the notes of the sweet like candy because you are going to be shook when you find out this one has gourmand sexy vanilla cashmere woods marshmallow i love marshmallow and fragrances it's that sweet note that i feel just complements my body chemistry the most it also has the fruity notes like sparkling blackberry pear jasmine dewy honeysuckle and italian bergamot so very sweet kind of fruity kind of similar but not really uh do you want to spend 300 dollars for the louis vuitton or go on amazon and get this for like 30 dollars? don't be asleep on ariana grande she makes some really good scents aside from the ones with coconut i can't stand a coconut note in a fragrance but this is very warm and cozy and sexy and inviting and just like ooh, like everyone always tells me what do you have on you smell so good this is the scent for you baby that's the scent for you this just smells like luxury it's like a luxury version of the ariana sweet like candy it smells uh, i don't know it just smells grown like a sweet grown scent it doesn't smell like a cheap sweet scent from like bath and body works vanilla you know what i mean like it smells like a luxury sweet type of scent and it doesn't smell like any of the other fragrances that louis has so go give this a smell that's all i have to say just go smell it test it out try it out and let me know if you guys like it <laughs> let's move on to byredo i absolutely love byredo they do scents and fragrances in any of their products so well chef's kiss so i recently this year picked up the de los santos this scent you can tell i've used quite a bit of it it makes me so sad these are kind of pricey but when i tell you they are worth it the day that i got this and i started wearing it 
three compliments in one day i have never gotten complimented so many times in one day after getting a fragrance and i don't feel like this one is the most popular by Rito fragrance and i like it because it has palo santo as the note that was the one thing that i said oh i need to go smell it because i love palo santo i burn palo santo every day just to cleanse my aura and my energy but it also has that very woody type of fragrance that isn't necessarily for everybody it just depends on your body chemistry and what notes complement you the best but this one has palo santo musks it also has sage as some of the notes and some other things that I just can't pronounce. So you can Google it and figure it out, but if you're looking for something very unique, very woody, I would say this is probably a unisex scent if I'm not mistaken, but it just smells unlike anything I've ever had. And when I first got this, my first initial thought was, this smells like a very bougie hamster cage. <laughs> it smells like the little cedar wood chips that are you know in your hamster cage whenever you clean it out i had a hamster growing up so don't come for me but it has that very witty lumberjack sexy type of scent but it goes so well with my body like i don't know like what it is about this but this is amazing and again most complimented scent of the year i'm also going to put you girlies on to the byredo mojave ghost this one is a very light fresh scent it's so opposite so 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 opposite of the de los santos this one i believe is by Rito's most popular fragrance and i know why because it's just such a oh my god every time i smell this it reminds me of vegas and resort world because they stock everything with mojave ghost but this one is just very springtime summery fresh but not like in a clean way like it has it's like woody undertones too it has cedarwood musks vetiver it's the vetiver for me amber violet magnolia sandalwood and nest berry so it's a very like fresh but woody at the same time but like a scent that you could wear every day and you just smell like money when i smell this i think of rich bougie luxury like you just smell yummy like you can't really put your finger on it but oh, it's so good you guys i have this in the body lotion and i also have this in the hand cream so i'm waiting for it to come back in stock in the body wash because i'll be getting that i will try to find links for you guys in the description below but i love byredo and i really want to get my hands on another scent something that smells completely different than those two so let's move on to mason margella which is the replica brand they do some incredible fragrances i'm talking like from every type of category floral you want the fresh you want the woody you want the more masculine they will have a scent literally for everybody so this one i believe is a unisex scent i'm trying to look at the notes for you guys jazz club jazz club is a scent that took me a while to buy because i was so obsessed with another fragrance which i'll talk about but my girl beverly swears by this scent and that was like how i first heard about it so one day i was shopping for fragrances and i remembered she kept saying jazz club jazz club you gotta get jazz club so i smelled it sprayed it on tested it out and it kind of reminds me of by the fireplace but a more masculine version like if ever i've thought of a scent to smell like a place it would smell like a whiskey lounge like in my head that's just the vision like a very sophisticated warm sophisticated vibe like i don't know what it is so this one has a warm and spicy note undertone to it it's woody as well so you're getting the pink pepper the rum absolutes so you're getting the tobacco leaf so it has that very sophisticated masculine undertone while also just being warm and inviting i think whenever i wear this i just feel cozy like i just feel like a cozy rich woman like a very like a lady a rich welcoming lady like that's just what i think of and the description of this is so like 
spot on. It's like a smooth cocktail of warm scents and spice fragrances that awakens the senses with lemon and pink pepper, followed by oils of rum and vanilla stacked with a smoky tobacco leaf. I kind of added some words there, but you get the vision of this scent. Like it's just a very <sighs> sophisticated cigar lounge whiskey vibe. Can you tell? I really love this scent. I love this scent. I haven't reached for it as much towards the end of the year, but I repurchased this fragrance many of many times, you guys. It is by far my most complimented scent, and it is also from Mason Margiela, the replica brand by The Fireplace. Mine is like all raggedy because I just throw this thing in my bag. By the way, these are really affordable in the range of all the fragrances here. I think they go for like $144. So definitely recommend checking these out and adding some of these to your perfume collection. Perfumes are something that I don't mind splurging on because I just like to smell good. I don't really like to smell not cheap, I guess is the word. Like, I don't know. Like when I was younger, yeah, I was like obsessed with Victoria's Secret, like body splashes and Bath and Body Works body splashes. Baby, we have graduated from those times. I don't want to smell like alcohol, okay? <laughs> and musk, because those scents don't really wear that well throughout the day and they fade quicker. So whenever you invest in a good quality fragrance, the wear time is much longer. The scents mesh better with your body chemistry and you don't smell like rubbing alcohol and coconut. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, By the Fireplace is such a good, well-loved scent. Again, I want to say this is probably Replica's most popular scent. And it, again, is a warm and spicy undertone, which I love. I just love them. This one has Gourmands. It has clove oil, the chestnut, which I love, the vanilla. They do vanilla so well with like the sweet with the like spicy and smoky. There's also like tobacco undertones and um, did I say chestnut? I did. So very cozy crackling fire is what they describe the setting and it's very much so that this reminds me of like the times when i would have like bonfires on the beach in california and we would have like marshmallows like it very much so just reminds me of just a very cozy time and i feel like this scent could be for any season like i will wear this in summertime especially like a summer bonfire like spring all that kind of stuff so it's just a really good all year round type of scent and I feel like it goes well with a lot of people. So let me know if you guys also are obsessed with the replica fragrances and which ones you would recommend I try if I like the warm and spicy. I'm thinking Coffee Break. I've never smelled it, but it just sounds like it belongs in my collection. <laughs> Last but not least, my final most complimented perfume is the Valentino... Vosha Viva Intensa. Is it Intensa or Intense, girl? It's Intensa because, you know, it's not English. Uda Parfum. So this one, when I first got it, is actually a gift from my friend for my birthday, which honestly, gifting perfume is very bold, but he got it spot on because the notes of this, I've never smelled anything so sophisticated that didn't smell like your grandmother, but smell sweet and I don't know like it's just a good balance of notes it is a floral undertone which again shocking shocking but it's a warm floral I think I don't mind florals as long as they're warm and they're complemented with other things like a vanilla to kind of give that sweetness this also has jasmine and bergamot but this to me is my everyday fragrance I think this is like my third or fourth bottle within a year's time it just smells like a very sophisticated, wealthy, welcoming, warm and cozy, inviting lady. Like it's just a very, girl, go smell it. This one is the intense version. I did buy by mistake the regular one. I do not like the regular one. Like that one has a very powdery undertone. I do not like powdery notes so go for this one it has like a tint of orange in color and it just smells completely different i love super strong fragrances and you guys will see that here i don't really have to reapply this that much because the scent will last all day long almost but you know i'm extra i think i'm gonna smell like this today like i'll wear this to the gym like i just like smelling 
like a sexy woman a sophisticated one that is this in a bottle so i will say shout out to valentino because they make some very great fragrances and this one is probably always going to be a part of my fragrance collection i think honestly all of these will be like the base of my fragrance collection and they are scents that i will for sure or if not already be repurchasing them because they smell like money okay so if you guys want to get into these fragrances if you've already tried them let me know down below your thoughts and what is your most complimented perfume put us girlies on please and i will see you guys in my next video very soon i definitely want to add some new scents to my collection i have my eyes on a couple that i need to smell and i can't just like go buy a scent like i need to go to the store you know spray it walk around a little bit leave and see how it smells in real life and then commit because i have expensive taste so <laughs> it's not an easy one too for your girl but let me know if you guys can relate to that in the comments but don't forget to subscribe and i will see you dolls in my next video very soon bye